kid. Hey, Iris. <laughs> hey, uh, I found three flash tests at my house and I brought one for you. Awesome, thanks. Hey, this has a cute sticker on it. Ah, uh, just like my cute little bro. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Kaden, you're back. Uh-huh. You know, hay is for horses. I can't believe we're actually going to film inside a crazy house. It's not a crazy house. It's called an asylum. Asylum. Hello to you, too. <laughs> Thanks. I think this grass is giving me allergies. I brought flashlights for everyone. I'm good. If we're going to be underground, we're going to need lots of light. Whatever. <laughs> it's broken. Sorry. So, how'd you hear about this place? These high schoolers were talking about it during Bible study. They said it used to be a big party place for drinking. Until one night, like a super long time ago, one of the football players went crazy. What do you mean crazy? He started screaming about a bleeding cross and how he was being chased by a nun. Nuns are kind of creepy. They're married to God. Anyways, he attacked his friends with a broken beer bottle, slashed his girlfriend's neck so bad, her head almost fell off. Whoa. What scene? Should we suit first? Mm. I don't know. It's gonna be so cool. I <laughs> know. I think it'll be not creepy. What happened to the rest of it? It caught on fire and burned down. It's real. I can't believe it's actually here. Yeah! Hey guys, I caught a grasshopper! Have you, uh, been inside it yet? I'm not going in there by myself. Well, we're here now. Let's do this. Here. Really? You're just gonna stand there? Wow, that's dark. You think these steps are okay? I don't know about this, guys. There could be a law against us being here. We're basically trespassing, you know. Only one way to find out! Woohoo! Hey, be careful! Kaden? Kaden? Kaden! Yeah! This place is perfect for a scary movie! Kaden! Stop freaking us out! Sorry. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's make a movie. Uh, I think I'm gonna stay up here and stand guard in case anyone comes. Suit yourself. What? Are you scared? I'm not scared. Have fun with your flashlight. What is 
is wrong with you, you retard? I'm sorry, it's just, it's colder down here than I expected. I should have brought an extra sweater. Come on, guys, let's not fight. We're here to make a movie, okay? Oh, seriously, gross. Derek, shine the light on Marlene's face. Marlene, I want you to start back up at the top and come down. Kaden, you're in charge of the background noise. Okay. And action. It's like a miniature church in there. Like a chapel? Whatever. Yeah, we could shoot the next scene in there. I have a great idea. You can draw a pentagram with the chalk I brought. Nothing. I thought I heard something, but it was nothing. Yeah, let's make a movie. Should we really be drawing that kind of stuff in a church? It's a chapel. Whatever. If there's a god, he should be helping starving children in Somalia or something. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. It might be... Might be what? Yeah, get that thing away from me. Come on, guys, let's shoot this. What are my lines again? You don't remember your lines? Shut up, you dork. I have more lines than you. You have six lines. Six too many. Here. Thanks. You could change it. Just make sure you mention it. Okay, then you're going to exit from here after you come in, and then you go this way. Kaden, we need more light on her. Hey, what happened? Are you okay? I wanted to see what was in the next room. Did you fall? Hmm. I guess I did. You don't look so good. I'm fine. Guys, can we get out of here? It's getting really cold. But we haven't checked out of the rest of the asylum. I'm not cold. <laughs> Ugh, this place is covered in mold. I'm probably going to get sick just by breathing down here. We still have one more scene down here before we can shoot the scene in the woods. I've got those lines memorized. Derek, where are you going? Derek? This is bad. I don't remember seeing that door when we first came in here. Oh, you're so observant. She's right. I don't remember seeing it either. Where did it come from? It's really dark down here. I bet we just missed it. Let's just go back up and get help. I have a bad feeling about this. And leave Derek down here? Well, there's something obviously wrong with him. Like, more than usual. I'm going after him. No, we have to stick together. What if you get lost too? We'll be fine. Just stay here. And do what? Pray? You better not leave me here. Come on, come on. Come help! 
Fluffy. walking down this hallway forever? Yeah, maybe we should turn back. Just a little further. I think I see the end. Uh, Iris? I think I see him. Derek! Hey, Derek! Why is he just standing there? Come on, Caden, why are you stopping? We have to get out of here. Where's Iris? I'm here. I said six o'clock. What? Where's the staircase? Did we take a wrong turn? No. I remember this is the way that we came in. It should be right here. Guys, look. I don't remember seeing that door. Me neither. Maybe it's a way out. Let's lick hands so we don't get separated. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. I wish Caden were here. You know he's imaginary, right? Yeah, but I feel better when he's with me. Yes, that's kind of like how I believe in God. You think God's imaginary? Maybe. I mean, at least you can see Caden. I pray every day to God, but I never hear him or see him. Yeah. Derek, your hand is like dripping with sweat. Ew, are those boogers on your fingers? Ah! Derek! Cut that out! Hello, Iris. Ah! Marlene? Terry?
Iris! They were there, the so-called sufferers of demonic possession. Yeah, they suffered concussions from the fallen roof. Okay, no, uh, Iris, we're, yeah, we're on our way to Black Falls right now. Iris finally set us up with an asylum. Yes, I know. It, it, okay, no, th there, apparently there was this nurse there that just went crazy and slaughtered everybody there and then burnt the place down. Yeah, it should be good, I know. Hey, le Lenny, le le you, you cut, Lenny, you're cutting out. Yes, I'm, t I'm listening, Lenny. I'm trying to find reception, all right? What are you taking pictures of? Just the river. It's a nice camera. Can I take a look? Actually, no. Uh, excuse me, this is my car. You from around here? Not anymore. What's not anymore mean? I used to live a couple miles from here. Not much of anything a couple miles from here. I'm sorry. Uh, what'd you say your name was again? Elvis. <coughs> oh, you crazy bitch. Just to let you know. Work at the gas station down the road. Come on by if you ever want to fill it. Seems pretty excited that we're going to Black Falls, though. You okay? Yeah, let's go. We should check in at the hotel. Excited to be going home? Excited to be going into the heart of nowhere? Man, I don't like other people getting all of my business, you know? Don't worry. From what I remember, everyone was really nice. Sure, from what you remember. Definitely a lot of nothing out here. We will get that shower curtain replaced for you right away. And the air conditioner is way too loud. It's the too loud? coffee. Yes. Okay, uh, sir, I would offer to move you to another room. However, all of the air conditioning units are the same in all of the rooms. No elevator. Great. You want me to take your bag for you? That's fine. All right. <sighs> what? Take a nap? See you in about an hour? Yeah, I'll just knock on my door. All right, see you in a bit.
coming. Just a minute. better than usual. Right. You ready to go? Yeah, give me a second. Mm -hmm. huh. Look at this. How do you always get the nice room? No. Oh. All right. Hmm. Are you going to change now? Really? So this Eddie guy. Who is he again? She's a girl. Um, Edie is short for Edith. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just the entire time I've known you, you've never dressed up nice once. Yeah, well, I will now. Right. 20 minutes? Yeah. Hello. Edie, hi, it's me. <laughs> Hello, yeah. welcome. Uh, this is my coworker, Jacob. Your coworker? Yeah. Okay, great. The more the merrier. Please come on in. <laughs> so, you're really making movies now, huh? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. More like television spots. I don't know if she'll ever make it to the big screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, kid. Thanks, Edie. You always believed in me. I always knew something would come. You running around with that camcorder all the time. How do you like L.A.? Mm. It's, um, different. But it's nice to be back, you know? It's louder over there, that's for sure. <laughs> Not too much isn't louder than Black Falls. I'm yeah. so glad you called. It's been too long. I know. Uh, thanks for picking up. Yeah, thank you for coming. I mean, you know, things get kind of crazy at school. Kids these days, right? <laughs> Just... <laughs> He's just hungry. <laughs> okay, well, very good. Um, come with me. I'll show you the kitchen. I uh, gotta check on the soup. Okay. I'm gonna take this. Let me just get some food in him and then we can eat. Okay. Do you want to say hello? He's pretty harmless. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I would say this is probably my favorite room. I spend a lot of time in here. I can tell. <laughs> I know, I'm a mess. <laughs> Here, follow me. The best time of the year is summer because mm. obviously I don't have to work, so I get to spend a lot of time here and kind of cozy in, I guess. It must be hard taking care of him by yourself. Yeah, when, uh, when mom passed, I said I would look after him, but I'm starting to wonder if there's an expiration date on promises like that, you know? Okay, uh, over here. Uh, this is the last room. Uh, probably looks pretty much the same. We haven't really changed it much yet, but I'm actually planning a big renovation here. Maybe make it into an office because the light is so nice and there's this space over here, which is just... Hey, buddy. You ready for dinner? Open up. Open up. Brought some friends. You want to say hello? Hey, Derek. Remember me? He seems to just keep getting worse. Uh, at first, he, after the accident, he seemed like he was okay. Like, uh, he was still there. He just didn't want to talk about it, but he just keeps regressing. And now he seems to have the mind of a five-year-old. 
I had no idea it had gotten this bad. I should have been better at staying in contact. Don't take it personally. He just doesn't like it when people touch him. Does he talk to you? Sometimes. I know he's still thinking, like there's still something in there. He just started that one yesterday, and now he's almost filled the whole thing. He's having a seizure. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Get him to the bed. Should I call 911? No. Only if it lasts longer than a couple of minutes. We just need to get him to the bed and get him on his side. Okay, okay, okay. Shh, Derek, it's okay. Okay. Seems like he's stopped shaking. I think he's gonna be okay. Thank God. Oh, has Edie changed much? She, she seems happy to see you. And Derek, uh, that was strange. Do you mind if I ask what happened to him? Is it real? So how far of a drive is it? 20, 25 minutes. It's not bad. Think we'll get some good stuff? Yeah, Lenny's definitely not gonna be disappointed, that's for sure. Well, I hope so. I mean, when's the last time we got something good? Now. Try telling him that. Oh. Hey, okay, yeah, haunted barn, midnight moaning. A dairy farm with cows who happen to be awake at night. That's all it was. That's why we're in Black Falls and I'm taking us to this asylum, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm not doubting you. It's just I, I want this to be good. I, well, what, what do you remember as a kid? I mean, it had to be frightening enough then for you to want to come back and do a show there. We'll be there soon, okay? Way to the asylum. Da -da 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 -da. I don't feel like singing anymore, Jacob. You should have told me to bring better shoes. I got dirt in them already. If I can do this when I'm a kid, you can do this now.
How long do you plan on poking around down here? Just today and tomorrow. We're on a uh, deadline to put together an episode for next week. I'd tell you to reconsider, but no one wants to listen to what I have to say about the asylum. Seems to me there's something down there that just shouldn't be messed around with. You mean the nurse, Sister Agnes? Says they're supposed to heal you. She just made her patients worse. She liked to watch them suffer. See, this is why I hate small towns. Yeah, tetanus shot, one of those hospital masks. Really breathe down here. Let's get some footage of this hallway first. There should be a small church down this way. Wait, you mean like a chapel? Yeah, a chapel. Say anything about crazy cave paintings of eyes in the Bible? I wonder if anyone here was actually cured of their insanity? Or if this place just made them crazier? You know, not everybody was insane. You know, people were locked up for all sorts of shitty reasons. I mean, being gay, slutty, it was all a crime. Glad I wasn't alive back then. If I remember correctly from when I was a kid, there was a door here. Did you hear that? Oh, man. Whoever was locked in here definitely did not want to be here. What the hell is that? What does this stuff even say? It's not even legible. I don't even think there were words. I mean, half the wall is torn up. I don't know is where he got all the paint. I don't even know if that is paint. The viewers have broken the plumbing in the asylum. Harris, have you seen this? Look, what is that? This is what we need, this... Wait, don't, don't. But this is what we're no, looking... Let's keep going. What? Feels so familiar. Say something to the camera. Come on. For Lenny. Hmm. Fine. Look at this. See, this is why I don't go to the doctor when I need to. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just need some water. Are you sure? Take it easy, all right? You'll be fine. I can't believe this is still here. What's that? It's an ice pick. You know, for ice pick lobotomies? Mm-hmm. You just slide it through the top of the eye socket and... 
tap it in a couple of times to break through the skull right into the brain. Right. Where are you going? It's just, uh, we should get more footage, right? Second rule, right? Iris? Where are you off to? Iris? See this tub? Iris! 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 You know, if you don't come out for dinner, uh, I will eat all of the food. You'll be left here with dust, and, and dirt, and whatever the hell is on the floor here. I, I don't even know what that is. It, Iris! Iris, I thought you were. Are you okay? Where, where, where have you been? I thought you were behind me. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I, I just this place. It, it, it's making me sick. All right, the, the dust, the, the, the mold, the asbestos. I, I, where the hell did you go? You, you just, you, you just walked off without me. Like I said, I thought you were following me. But when I turned around, you were gone. Okay. Should have brought a thicker sweater. I didn't realize how cold it was going to be down there. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to make it to Marlene's I, for dinner. It's fine. Rest up. I'll just check on you after dinner. Okay, thanks. I, if I if I don't answer, I'm probably sleeping. Must be exciting for you, living in the big city. I miss Black Falls sometimes. It's nice to be surrounded by nature. Well, you should go for a hike as long as you're here. Maybe. If I have time, I will. We're on a tight shoot schedule, but I do want to visit a few places from my childhood. Fuck you. Marlene, we have company. Shall we say grace? <clears throat> Lord, thank you for this great bounty. Bless us as we are but your children in need of guidance. Bless our dear guest Iris who has come a long way to our humble home. We are truly thankful for her presence. Make us grateful for all your mercies. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you. This looks delicious. Oh, you're very welcome. It's not often that we have visitors. It's not often that I get a home-cooked meal. Fuck you, Iris. You will be grateful, young lady, or you will be sent straight back to your room. I'm sorry, mother. Salt? No, thank you. But these vegetables are great. I'm glad you like them. I use only fresh vegetables that I grow in my garden. Not something you can get every day, I imagine, where you live. How is life in the big city? It's fine. 
You don't miss Black Falls? Sometimes I do. Remember when we were kids? How we used to play freeze tag? And make believe? Yeah, I remember. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yesterday, below the stairs, I saw a girl who wasn't there. She wasn't there again today. I wish she'd fucking go away. I made pie for dessert. Something for us to look forward to. Perhaps with some ice cream. I'll be just downstairs if you need anything. Thank you, Jean. You stopped seeing Kaden. Yeah. On meds for that now. It's too bad. He may have been imaginary, but he was good for you. Imaginary friends are for kids. I need to grow up eventually. Growing up's overrated. Apparently. So you want to know how I ended up like this? I know you're curious. Untie me and I'll tell you. That's okay. You don't have to tell me. Oh, but we never used to keep secrets, did we? You don't have to. I want to. Come on, Iris. Please let me go. My wrist is starting to hurt. Would your mom be okay with that? Fuck that bitch. Come on, Iris, please. It's not fair that you get to sit there while I'm tied up. It's not like I'm gonna hurt you. Please. Please, please, okay. please. Okay, okay. Thank you, Iris. That's what friends are for. I used to have the most, to have the most beautiful eyes, didn't I? My mom used to always tell me how jealous she was of them. Two windows into a field of dreams, she'd say. But after you took us down there, down that hell hole, I started seeing the most horrible things. <coughs> noticed about this world we live in. I don't feel pain anymore. Do you still feel pain? I can hear you. I know where you are.
<laughs> Would you just wake up, Iris? First Derek, now you. I can't do this anymore. Am I the only one who wants to get out of here? <laughs> calling is no longer in use. Please try your call again. Hey, how are you feeling? <coughs> oh, horrible. Oh, okay, I guess I'll give Lenny a call and ask for an extension. Uh, do you want to just take a day to get over your cold? Yeah. Do you need anything? I can stop by the pharmacy if you want something over the counter. Jacob, I'm having trouble reaching Lenny. Do you know what's going on? I'm gonna head out, grab some food. I'll text you, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, I must have the wrong room. That's okay, I'm sure it's an honest mistake. Right, it's just... Miss, are you okay? No, my friend Jacob was staying in this room. I'm positive of it. I checked in two days ago. Are you sure you have the right room? Excuse me. Can I help you? Yes, uh, I checked in two days ago with my coworker, Jacob. He should be in the room across from mine, but he's not there anymore. Jacob. That's strange. Um, what is his last name? I, uh, his last name is, um, Do you remember what room number he was in? N no, I can't remember. You know what? Forget about it. I probably just made a mistake. I'll go check again on my friend. Hello? 
No, I, I don't think so. She's here. You're currently staying in room 204. No, I'm not. I, I'm in room... You're very welcome. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. I mean, y yes. Could, could you please... You're going to burn in hell. What? Well, come in, come in. What's wrong? Uh, shh, it's okay. I brought you a clean towel. There's uh, more in the hallway closet. Thanks, Edie, for everything. No problem, kid. So, um. What's the plan? Plan is to finish filming. I'm going back down to the asylum tomorrow. Why is it so important for you to finish filming in that asylum? I have to find out what's down there. I saw her when I was a kid, the nurse. Sister Agnes is a stupid urban myth that teenagers keep perpetuating. I have to know who she is what she is. I don't understand why this is so important to you. I mean, you don't actually believe that- I saw her. Okay. I'm just trying to look out for you. I'll be fine, Edie. I just need some answers. I should never have let you kids go down there in the first place. I mean, this is all my fault. If I had just stopped Derek, then None of this would ever have ha happened. No, it's my fault. I'm the one who wanted to shoot that stupid horror movie in the first place. Hey, I made some dinner. Are you hungry? Yeah, thanks. I'll be out in a minute. Lobotomies, bloodletting, and ice baths. Sounds like torture to me. Yeah, it is. Agnes Dorschner. Orphan, raised by nuns in the Black Falls Sanctuary, became a nurse when the church refused to let her take her vows. Can the church do that? No idea, but I'm sure they had good reason for that. It's weird. What's weird? I've been able to piece together some information about this nurse, Agnes Dorschner, but only until the year 1942. She probably died around that same time, but there's no record of an obituary. Jacob has more research on his laptop, but I can't seem to find the password. Who? My coworker, Jacob. You met him the last time I was here?
You came here by yourself, Iris. No, I came with someone else. You told me you saw him. I can't keep pretending for you. You're lying. I am just trying to point out the obvious. Ask Derek. He saw Jacob. Derek was in the same room as us. Ask Derek. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I'm gonna be out there. If you want dinner, come on out. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Hey, Derek? Derek, can you... Yes. Derek? Some demons never die. Hungry? No. I'm not sure where she is. She was just here. I just saw her. When did you start speaking again? Please don't scream. I don't like it when people scream at me. I mean, this is the first time I've heard you talking in a while. I talk all the time. Maybe you should listen. Listen more, you might learn something.
I'm not hungry. you miss? I was just here this morning. I think I left something in my room. Okay, if you left something in the room, the maid probably turned it into lost and found. I just need to see something. It will only take a minute. But you already checked out. Then I'll check in. Okay. Can you do that for me? Yes. Yes, I can. Thank you. Am I going crazy?
shouldn't be here. I have to stop her. You can't. I can't live my life like this anymore. You can't stay here. You have to go back. I can't just go. You have to help me. Please just tell me what I'm dealing with here. Is she a ghost? A demon? I can do this. Sister Agnes is a real person. There are photos of her, and she's on the staff roster at Black Falls. But did she really kill her patients? I mean, this was an asylum, right? Patients died all the time from unnatural causes. She was never really accused of murder. Iris, she's here. You have to. To go. No, not yet. Not until I get answers. I need to know what happened. Iris, please. It's not time yet. Just get a grip and get out of here. Once she gets you, it's over. There's nothing left to see. You never used to believe that crap my mom preached, right? Once you die, you just stop existing. There's nothing left. Iris. Please, she may not say much, but she's always listening. You have to get out of here. All she wants to do is her- Derek! He's mine now, bitch. Oh my god, oh. Derek! We have to get out of here. Derek! We have to go. You're me. You're so young. Don't worry, it'll all be over soon. Just close your eyes. If you see my mom, tell her I'm sorry. I can't stand living with her anymore. Marlene. thy little ones against the stone. <laughs>
A part of me wants to believe Iris. To accept it all as the truth rather than the ramblings of a fractured mind. I like to imagine that she made the right choice and that she's in a happier place with the rest of them. That they all made it out eventually and are running around somewhere in this mess of grass and trees and fresh air. Rainwater reaches out loud. 